Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine label hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. It was the perfect romance. That's how much I love you, baby. It was the perfect wedding. Is it hard? What? Getting married. I've got tons of stories about you and women. But most of all... Sweet. My client has agreed to settle for... a thousand dollars. It was the perfect con. Oh, and she keeps the Mercedes. Angela and Paige aren't just partners in crime. I'm in terrific shape. You're my butt. I am not feeling your butt again, Mother. Okay, we all know it's wonderful. Their family. One more con. No more small-time crap. Has to be big. <gasps> oh, my God. She's cracked her head open. We can only let you have this suite for one night. I can make men do anything. You can make boys do anything. Hey, can I get you a drink? Why'd you walk all the way over here to ask to get me a drink? Because I'm the bartender. <laughs> Now they've found their man. William B. Tenzi, CEO of Tenzi Tobacco. How much? Three billion. <laughs> We'd better work fast. They're making their move. Just call me Volker. <laughs> but just when they're about to cash in. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. We're talking a settlement of 20 million minimum. He seemed very dedicated to your work. One will slip up. I'm in love with you. I saw you with your boyfriend. I am in complete control. I saw the kiss. Your eyes were closed. And the other will be found out. Angela! You're her mother? Oh, very friendly. Oh, oh yeah, she's a delicate flower. Sigourney Weaver, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Ray Liotta. Get all the fish! <laughs> Got it. Jason Lee and Gene Hackman. Heartbreakers. Oh, do you have any idea how much therapy you people need? This is a story about three unlikely heroes. A bulldog. Agent 11, the top canine agent in America. <laughs> who hated his job. A mailman. <laughs> who hated dogs. What's up, Tyson? You on lockdown? <laughs> and a kid. Honey, I'm going out of town, so Gordon is going to watch you for a few minutes. Turned loose. Turned loose. <laughs> then something happened. You want we should whack a dog? <laughs> this is personal. That brought them all together. I don't think you can handle this. What do you mean I can't handle something like this? I'm a very responsible guy. This dog is smart. <laughs> Warner Brothers Pictures presents a comedy about man's best friend. This dog locked me out of my own house! Oh, he's crazy! And a mother's worst nightmare. When are you gonna be here? All the flights are canceled and roads are closed. This is just perfect. Get the dog, get the dog! James, come on! Is everything all right? Oh. Oh. Get off the head! I'm covered in dog food! See, spot, run. See, spot, run. Say we're gonna get to keep spot. We can't keep him, he's not... Have you ever been abroad before? No. <laughs> Every family has its dreams. This time tomorrow, we'll be sitting on our own desert island, son. Yeah! It's rituals. You are sex on legs. Do you know that? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, put that down! Do I can suck on it, you? Hey, mama. 
It's tricky moments. Don't you dare! Come to where I'm working again, understand? The Martins just have more than most. England's got the highest teen pregnancy rate in Europe. I'm carrying on a fine tradition. Yeah! Look at you! You're animals! Oh, you say my family ain't civilised? Leave it, Dad. Glass him, Robert! All they're waiting for is one big break. But it ain't gonna happen. All the time you're relying on winning things. It's when we win the Range Rover, when we win the Dream Kitchen. The chance to put things right. There should be us going on this holiday. We've been mugged. Excuse me, what do you want? Sell me your holiday. I've had enough of this, Robert. What? I'm ever so desperate. You smelly rot, eh? Eh? I, I eat everything. <laughs> I want a different life. I don't want to be one of them families people cross the road to avoid. What kind of parents are we? The babies have never swam in the sea. I want to see her smiling again. So do I. <laughs> With a family like this... We've got five minutes to bung a bit of kit in a bag and get out of here. Who needs friends? We can't survive on a glass of water. Not for a week. Well, I love your optimal sandwiches and put them in a bit of a hurry here! The cat's out and the plants are water now, that's it! <laughs> Lee Evans, Kathy Burke. Yeah, they do say the sea gets warmer at night, didn't they? Well, I would just like to say that that is bollocks. <laughs> the Martins. Well, can I have a bash at being an happy, normal family? Stop, Dad, stop! <laughs> I propose that we build a robot child. With all the childless couples yearning in vain, will fill a great human need. He's so real. He's not. Inside, he's like all the rest. But outside, he just looks so real. Like he is a child. If she cannot love you, you are neither flesh nor blood. Someplace nice? They hate us, you know. The humans. They'll stop at nothing. You're a machine. I'm a boy. They made us too smart, too quick, and too many. Stay away from people! Only others like you are safe! My name is David. You need someone to take care of you? are suffering for the mistakes they made because when the end comes all that will be left is us Why would you do that? Jump somebody with a gun. I figure it was worth the risk. You have a nice smile. What I want to know is how you happen to be walking by that stadium at that minute. I guess we were supposed to meet. What I just to do. Hey, hey! Is a no concern. Who's this? Bob. You named your dog Bob? No, that was his name. He told you that? Yeah. Where I lay. You never said a word about yourself the other night. We can start from here. I'm not gonna know anything about you. I need the details. What is it you're looking for? Tell me straight out, who are you? 
You realize you don't show up in any database? He's a ghost. Are we living some kind of lie here? What do you want from me? How about the truth? I want to understand you, but I can't do that if you don't let me in. I've been remembering things. I'm trying to tell you that you're not alone. Please, just stay with me. Stay with me. Someone comes into your office and tells you they saw this in their backyard. Who showed you this? Last night, I saw something that I cannot describe. What happened to my wife? I need to know what this is. Do not be afraid. One race, 2G buy it, winner takes all. I don't have any cash, but I do have the pink slip to my car. You brave, you brave. You're in. Do it fast, do it furious. On the street, where reputations are made. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. <laughs> Winning's winning. In a world, on the law. Get it! We drive like we've done this before. We no, never. If you have what it takes. You want a beer? Yo, Dom, why'd you bring that fool here? Because he kept me out of handcuffs. You can have it all. My brother likes you. Usually he doesn't like anybody. But when rivalries are a way of life. I thought we had an agreement. You stay away, I stay away. When loyalty is all that matters. You don't know this punk, Dom. Watch your back. You break her heart, I'll break your neck. Would you be willing? Yeah, stick by me. Maybe. To risk everything. Smoke. something it likes. One of you. The question is, have you seen 
it? Have you heard it? Have you felt it? Whoa! DVD. It's a movie on a disc the size of a CD. The picture is twice as sharp as VHS. The sound is so incredibly clear, you can hear a pin drop. It looks and sounds like you're at the movies, but you can experience it at home. And let's not forget, you can watch it in widescreen. Pick your language, choose from many additional features, and even watch a movie right on your computer. Whoa! And rent or buy thousands of DVD titles available from these great Hollywood studios. DVD. See it. Hear it. Feel it. DVD. When you rent or buy a video, you need to know that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you understand what the film is like, you can look at the certificate it has been given. This film has been classified as 15. That means this film is unsuitable for anyone younger than 15. A film with a 15 certificate may have a fairly adult theme, or may contain scenes of violence, sex or drugs, which are unsuitable for younger teenagers. It may also contain sexual swear words. It is an offence to supply a video classified 15 to anyone below that age. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make the right choice. Thanks for listening. the problem with Hollywood is they make shit unbelievable unremarkable shit now I'm not some grungy wannabe filmmaker that's searching for existentialism through a haze of bong smoke or something <laughs> now it's easy to pick apart bad acting short-sighted directing and a purely moronic stringing together of words that many of the studios term as prose no I'm talking about the lack of realism realism not a pervasive element in today's modern American cinematic vision Take Dog Day Afternoon, for example. Arguably Pacino's best work. Short of Scarface and Godfather Part One, of course. Masterpiece of directing, easily laments best. The cinematography, the acting, the screenplay, all top notch. But they didn't push the envelope. Now, what if in Dog Day, Sonny wanted to get away with it? Really wanted to get away with it? What if, now this is the tricky part. What if he started killing hostages right away? No mercy, no quarter. Meet our demands are the pretty blonde and the bell bottoms gets it in the back of the head. Bam, splat. What, still no bus? Come on. How many innocent victims splattered across the window would it take? to have the city reverse its policy on hostage situations. And this is 1976, there's no CNN, there's no CNBC, there's no, there's no internet. Now fast forward to today, present time, same situation. How quickly would the modern media make a frenzy over this? In a matter of hours, it would be the, the biggest story from Boston to Budapest. 10 hostages die, 20, 30, relentless, bam, bim, one after another. All caught in high def, computer enhanced, color corrected. You practically taste the brain matter. All for what? A bus? A plane? A couple of million dollars that's federally insured? I don't think so, but just a thought. I mean, it's not within the realm of conventional cinema, but. What if?